Grace Portalesi, the Executive Director with the Annie Thomas Space Foundation. Thanks for joining us again. Great to be with you. Wonderful. Um, the 15th Australian Space Forum, we spoke to you just a couple of weeks ago as you were announcing your keynote speakers. Uh, Early Bird closes on Monday, the 16th of April, so we're going to get this out today. But the full program has been released. What are some of the highlights for you? And we'll walk through the program as we prepare for the 9th of May. Terrific. Thank you, Chris, and thank you for everything that you and your team do. Um, we're very excited. The full program has landed and um, the forum is only a few weeks away. Uh, so we have a very strong presence um, from JAXA uh, for this forum, which we're thrilled about and, and incredibly honoured uh, by. So we have the president of JAXA, uh, Dr Yamakawa, that has confirmed when we spoke uh, the last time I was able to advise you that we had Dr Fujimoto from JAXA who was going to be giving a presentation on the um, MMX uh, mission, which is very exciting, but we also now have the president of JAXA. That's incredibly exciting. And, of Great. course, um, the morning session will uh, focus on a regional cooperation. Um, so we will have keynotes by Dr Yamakawa and Dr Fujimoto and Enrico Palladmo, and then we will move into a... Uh, a panel, a regional forum panel, which is incredibly timely um, uh, in a geopolitical sense. So I think I think that's very interesting. Um, and then we, in the afternoon, we move to Australian space developments and uh, and new opportunities there. So uh, we actually have joining us uh, when we spoke the last time. Uh, Clive Oates was going to deliver this keynote, but uh, Phil Brownett. Um, so the Managing Director of SSTL will be joining us and we're very excited about that. Of course, SSTL has opened up a base here at Lot 14 in South Australia, so we're, we're very excited about that. We also have um, an exciting uh, delegation presence coming from um, the European Space Agency. Right. And they will be delivering a session with CSIRO on New Norcia. Uh, we have a Rose in the afternoon also um, who will be uh, delivering a briefing on the uh, Moon Rover um, project. And to cap off the afternoon, we <laughs> I'm exhausted already. <laughs> yes. um, and it's so exciting. We will have a really timely um, presentation discussion on workforce developments and workforce challenges, which is on everyone's lips. Um, so we will have a presentation by uh, Defence Space Command. Uh, we will have um, uh, Dr Jenny Mitchell, who uh, does this very work in the Australian Space Agency, who will be um, sharing her sort of knowledge and data with us, as well as uh, Madeline Richardson, from who heads up Schools SA here in South Australia. And of course, South Australia is at the, the forefront of all things defence and space. So um, it promises to be a jam-packed um, forum. And the exciting thing and the important thing about this forum is that it has been created by industry for industry. And we are, you know, a not-for-profit. All, uh, all the proceeds that we make um, from this activity this activity and others uh, throughout the year goes back into our education fund where we reinvest that into space education programs. So that is the big why for us. That's why we yeah. do this. Um, so for the Andy Thomas Space Foundation, it's about education, innovation and outreach. And so uh, we're very excited to be delivering our 15th Australian Space Forum. Um, for the second year in a row, I, I must sort of give the dinner a plug as well. So, um, and in fact, I can tell you exclusively um, that we have um, uh, our after dinner speaker or during dinner speaker is Dr. Yamakawa, mm -hmm. um, who will be doing something very sort of different. Um, he'll be sort of delivering an in conversation um, style um, presentation for our guests. And the dinner is a great way, I mean, it's a networking dinner, it's a great way for attendees to get together and have a bit of a chat in a more informal environment. It'll be great to hear from Dr Yamakawa and his personal journey, how he came to be the head of JAXA and 
Um, and I think he's got a very, very interesting story to tell. There, there's always so much to learn um, from everybody at this forum, but Dr. Yamakawa will be very exciting. Wonderful. And look, the only thing I can add to this is the University Trailblazer program uh, there also, and I think that's worth yes. a mention. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, uh, there are so many exciting innovations going on. The um, the the program, uh, Punch In, the 15th Australian Space Forum, uh, is, is all over the joint. Um, we are very excited to welcome all of our speakers. We're very grateful to them. We also, just a, a last shout out for our exhibition booths. Um, so those numbers are very tight. There are a few spots left. So we would urge people to uh, get in touch with us. Um, again, go online. So it really um, is down to those last days, I'm aware. Um, and look, we will have, uh, I believe, we will we'll definitely have been following it on our Space and Defence channel. Uh, but we'll have a link out to the full registration. It's worth having a walk through. You've really done an amazing job, given it's a, only a one-day forum uh, and uh, it's very well structured uh, and you've got all the key players there as well, uh, including the likes of Mindaroo, uh, AMDA uh, and a range of different others as well. So uh, congratulations to the team and, and excited to be approaching 9th of May. Yeah, so are we. Can I um, thank you, Chris, and but also a big thank you to our platinum sponsor, AMDA, um, and congratulate them on a fantastic air show um, that they delivered recently, but also absolutely acknowledge um, the support of the South Australian government, absolutely critical, and the Australian Space Agency. So um, the forum is being pulled together in a different way, this year and um, it, it has been absolutely terrific to be able to partner um, with the agency and with the South Australian Government, of course our gold sponsors Deloitte and Lockheed Martin. So it's a very busy time for everyone <laughs> in the sector and we're excited to be bringing everyone together at this time and we look forward to seeing you there in a couple of weeks. Wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's approaching fast. And uh, as I will say it again, the 16th of April, that's Monday, early bird closes for registration. Uh, so it is really the last days before you are paying full price. So now is the time. Uh, Grace Portalesi, the Executive Director with the Andy Thomas Space Foundation, as you prepare for the 15th Australian Space Forum, uh, wonderful to have, have you back. And hopefully we'll speak to you just prior uh, for any final arrangements. Absolutely. Look forward to it. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV.